Hey, what's up everyone? Happy fall fishing. Today we're gonna do some fishing with a underdog, which is the grub tail. Like for some reason, throughout the years, I think the grub has been forgotten. I think with social media and with all these cool lures, everyone wants the coolest looking lure. But to be honest, nothing could beat the good old classic grub tail. And today we're actually gonna be using the Z-Man version, okay? Z-Man have created these, so, um, yeah, no more tail ripping from those small little panfish that rips everything off, right? So uh, yeah, this is the Grub Z Shimmer Pearl and there's eight to a pack. I got the two inch version. We're gonna be putting this on a 1 16th ounce jig head. Let's talk about my setup today. I have the Casting Zephyr. And by the way, this reel has been released in US on Amazon. You guys can check out the link within the description below. This is a BFS reel, stands for Bait Finesse System, or is a fancy way saying ultralight bait caster. I like throwing ultralight stuff. And um, yeah, this is actually very fun throwing on a bait caster. A lot of people always ask, why would I throw with a bait caster versus a spinning reel? Well, a bait caster is a lot more efficient, a lot more accurate. And I think there's a strong fun factor in this. There's definitely other things in it. Like this reel is lighter than a spinning reel at its cost. Like this reel right here is 5.6 ounces, right? You put on a light tackle and because the way that it sits right here, low profile, right? You hold it in a specific way compared to a spinning reel and it's just more finessey. You know, less fatigue means more fun fishing on the water. So anyway, let's rig this up and let's go out there and catch some fish. By the way, I have four pound test line right there. So it allows my lure to sink naturally. Uh, this lure here is buoyant, but look at this. This thing stretched like crazy and the tail is not gonna rip off. Like I said, with the other traditional grub tails, I got this uh, sickle hook jig head with a gnarly bait keeper right there. You see that? It's pretty crazy. And that should keep this lure on for a long time. If not, I could always super glue this sucker right onto the hook. But let's see how this holds up. Make sure it shoves in properly. And then what I'd like to do is if I could get this thing to dig in right at the right spot, it should stay on for a long time. All right. See this right here? I actually put in probably too far. You see that it's bending. So what I want to do is readjust this a little bit. You want it to come out proper so that it's going to be streamlined and it should swim better and has a better presentation. So take your time rigging, boys and girls. Don't be going too quick and not present your lure properly because that is gonna be your downfall. Anyway, here we are, let's go fishing. That's a fish right there, oh yeah. Small fish, but this is what BFS is all about. Small fish still fight good. Oh, it's actually a pretty good freaking yellow perch. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys. Let's see. Get him up. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I am eating fish tonight. Eating fish tonight. Oh, yeah. Nope, I'm not eating fish tonight. That thing dropped. <laughs> Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Is that another perch? No, it's a Mondo gill. Look at that. Two species of the day. Look at that. Big, it looks like a female because it has two, uh, two holes down there. Get a little damage up there. Anyway. Release this gal for another day. Where is this one bluegill? Potentially might be more bluegills. I'm in this uh, cove area. And uh, yeah, there's some muck. There's some pads. Potentially there's still fish hanging out here. It's pretty warm today. I don't think uh, fish are gonna be chasing bait fish today. Probably gonna figure out where the biggest food source. And I think these coves right here, the shallow coves, if the sun comes out, you know, there might be more zooplankton, but it doesn't seem like it. So guys, I'm using my very, very old GoPro mount, chest mount. It's like so stretched out. It's, <laughs> I would have to say it's like 
GoPro Gen 1 chest mount. So that's like 2012. Been with me for a long time and I just bought a, a new mount, which is why my last couple of videos have been terrible because uh, it's not stretched out enough to even go over my, uh, well, my, my life vest. But this, this old one can, so I'm trying to figure out something, probably get a different mount that just goes right on my life vest or something like that. If you guys have any recommendation, feel free to leave me a comment below. I'm looking at the stuntman right now. Yeah, hopefully I can get that soon. A little pricey, 40 bucks, but uh, still doing some reviews on it. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, leave me a comment below. Could truly, truly need a recommendation right now. All right, we are on. Small dinky dinks, but I think I found some of them here. Let's see. Wind is blowing into the these gunk here. Look, that's a bite right there. I think I should switch to B vibe because they're they're just so small. It's biting on my tail, but I do want to keep this grub tail on just a while, just to show you guys like with all the nips, even with all the nips, the Z man grub tail would just survive because it could get ripped as much as it wants and you know it doesn't matter oh yeah got him wait a sec that does not feel like no perch oh it's a pickerel please don't cut my line see this is when you lose your lures <laughs> toothy critters including the plastic and hook and everything. Oh, got him. Look at that. The line is in his mouth, okay? But it's okay. Jimbo got a tool that will get it out if needed. All right, no need, no need. But uh, the heck, all right, there it goes. Put him back in, but now I will have to retie. So give me a second. All right. Got him, got him. Whoa, this is a fast guy. Another pickerel. Oy. A fall grub tail. This is a wind blown side. So, you know, there's definitely a lot of uh, potential action here. Water's warm, but the, it's still fall, right? The sun's not out. So with the wind blown side, what happens is whatever zooplankton and everything that actually grows at the surface, because that's the warmest spot, the wind blows all the food to this side of the bank, which uh, attracts most of the bait fish. And that's why I love to throw these small little white grub tails during the fall. Got one. What do we have here? Whoa, is that a bass? Oh, it's a slab crappy. That's what I'm talking about. That guy's dinner. Bam, look at that. Big old crappy from the fall. Oop, sorry, cast king rod in the way. Whoa, he's thick. All right, unhook. Oh, sometimes you gotta use the tools. There we go. All right, into the basket he goes. This time I'll make sure he goes in. All right. All right. This channel is blood dead. The other channel with the wind blowing is definitely a lot better. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Main channel, let's go. Main channel. What do we got? Oh, here's what we're looking for. The big jumbo perch. All right. Let me pull up for you guys. Boom. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Whoop. Into the basket this time. All right. Uh, yeah. Trying to fish some of these shallow water stuff. Oh yeah. Big 
big perch, big perch. Not that big, actually. Totally legal size, but I want something bigger for dinner. Oh yeah, open water perch. That's what I'm talking about. Hugh, Mondo, perch. Oh yeah, baby. Hey, easy, easy. Come on. There's a point over there and there's a, some wind here. So potentially the bait is pushed up here and uh, here we go, fall perching. Oh, freaking mosquito. Got him. All right, yo guys, check this mono perch from Chief Crappy Raider. Ralph is a panfish enthusiast like me, and he just, whew, that is the perch of the day. So far, man, hopefully. Oh, nice, nice. Check out his Instagram now, guys. Look at you. One cast, one fish. I think the key is getting that bait to the bottom. My uh, Z Man is like floating, it takes forever to get down. So I might have to switch over to something that sinks a little bit more. Oh, got him. All right, cast next to that guy right there because he got fish. Double up, double up. Aye. Look at that. In the basket it goes. Fish on. All right, all right, all right. Another perch. Okay, okay. Yep. Not too bad. All right. I missed them. Come back. There it goes again. You see that? The, the tip is moving. Boom! Got him this time. What, 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 what? Echo. Oh, snaps. Perchy, perchy. So, you guys see this right here? I should mark that too. Right on the finder. But it looks like uh, they're holding up right here too. Make a few waypoints and just keep paddling around. Get them fish. Let's go. Got him. What? Yo, guys, this is an insane fish. This is an insane fish. I think it's a big bass. Dude. Oh, it's a big pickerel. Never mind. False alarm. Just kidding. I still love pickerels. Oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. Chill, 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 chill. Don't cut my line. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, I cut my line. Well, huge, that was a huge picker up. Aye. Time to put on another lure. Well guys, I didn't want to take a second one out because I want to prove a point that these Z-Man just 
last forever. Like the few of these bites earlier, they're just nipping the tail a few times, like nonstop, and then eventually they freaking swallow it. I don't think they're too hungry today for those perch. Uh, maybe some of them are bluegills too. And uh, yeah, until that pickerel came around and cut my line, I was pretty much one lure the entire time. You know, I caught a pretty good amount of, amount of fish using uh, that one little grub Z from Z-Man. But anyway, let's put another one on and uh, see how else we do. Hopefully we'll catch a, a pickerel on land, I'm like a big giant one or maybe a big bass. I know a lot of you guys like bass, so. Man, these fish are killing my lure, but I'm not hooking up. Probably a very small fish. That's a fish. Got him this time. Light bite, but I got him. Definitely, definitely close to the bottom. Thank you, thank you. All right, fam, there you have it. Fishing fall with a small grub tail. I could have probably jacked this up and uh, probably catch more pickerels and more bass, but you know, I was targeting more of the panfish. In fact, I caught so many yellow perch, I just ran into a uh, school and ta-da, there's more than enough for dinner. Freaking sweet, man. So you guys wanna target perch are crappy. You guys should definitely put on four to six pound test line on your favorite ultralight setup for me. Casting Zephyr right here is pretty banging. Put on a 16th ounce jig head, a two to three inch, maybe even four inch uh, grub tail. And this plastic lasts so long until I got cut off my line, that is not the lure, from a pickerel. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this fall BFS fishing with a grub tail, budget friendly lure. This is a very budget friendly bait, grub tails and overlooked so if you guys want to just throw it on on a jig head i promise you guys you'll slay all day i thank you guys for watching the fish don't wait as you guys see neither will the leaves for the fall foliage so if you guys are not fishing you guys are spending some time with the family get out there and enjoy the fall foliage thank you for watching